Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. The SNP government have been in control now for 16 years, and in that time, they have overseen the decline of a once proud nation to something little more than third world status in every possible area. Education, health, social care, you name it, they've screwed it up. And one of the worst things, of course, is homelessness. Something they could help and do something about instead of wasting money on jaunts to America by Angus Robertson, for example. But they have sunk to a new low. They will not take responsibility for areas of problems that they themselves have caused, and instead of blaming others. Usually it's Westminster, but now they're blaming people being homeless on football fans. It's unbelievable. Anyway, we'll take a look at this article to see why the SNP refuse to ever take responsibility for the things that they get wrong. Here goes. So blaming football fans for Glasgow homeless is a new low and typical of the SNP who look down on the masses. Rangers match with Newcastle United at Ibrox was given as the reason five people had to sleep rough in Glasgow on Tuesday night. What a load of crock of shit that is. There's no way that this is the fault of football fans. Maybe £136,000 lying around might have got these people somewhere to live, more than just one night, maybe for quite some time. But it was more important to send Angus Robertson to America. Football fans are no strangers to feeling like some among the Scottish establishment are out to get them. The SNP government has made no secret of the disdain it holds for supporters, indeed the working classes as a whole, and even Mary Black, who pretends to be working class. It's like a little suit she puts on before going to work. A fancy dress, look at me, I'm working class. And then she even affects a strange accent just to try and convince people, although we know it's not true. But the blame game hit a new low this week. On Friday, Nat Run Glasgow City Council tried to shift the blame for the homeless problem in the city onto a match between Rangers, a club Humza Yousaf and Co hold in particular contempt, and the English side, Newcastle United. Um, yeah, because they have to blame someone, uh, and they're all full of hate. The SNP just full of hate. And the SNP, obviously, because of their nationalism and that, they're all, you know, they're all Celtic fans. They hate, they hate the Rangers. They hate this. They hate that. Uh, because, obviously, they have to hate everything. Everything. They, they, uh, they are a joyless bunch, truly, aren't they? But they particularly hate things that are... Um, remind them, should we say, of, you know, the United Kingdom. Uh, and, and the, the union. That's the problem. Anyway, the argument started when volunteers at a charity homelessness project Scotland revealed they had to turn five people away on Tuesday night due to a lack of accommodation in the city. It meant there were at least five people sleeping rough in Glasgow that night. A statistic that should shame those sitting in the comfort of city chambers. But it won't because they just don't care. This must have been devastating for those who gave up their time and to try and help those struggling. Ask for a reason why this would happen. Someone at Glasgow City Council saw fit to blame a combination of a big event taking place in the city and a higher than normal number of people presenting as homeless. So rather than spending £136 on foreign jaunts, why not, you know, build a flat? The big event was Alan McGregor's testimonial at Ibrox. Over 7,000 Geordies will have been in the city to see their team win 2-1, a not insignificant number. And yet it pales into comparison with those who attend similar events in Glasgow. Uh, Transmit recently saw 50,000 people descend on the city and judging by the number of accents I heard that day, I'm willing to bet at least 7,000 were at least staying overnight in, and, uh, in hotels and other facilities. But they didn't get blamed. They have to blame it on football fans because, oh, the Transmit, they're young and we can conform to their minds, whereas footballers, oh, they're just football fans, they're just scum, aren't they? Scum, they say. That's how they think. It truly is because of the hate that they have the contempt that is riven throughout all of the SNP for anyone who isn't quite like them. Muse, Arctic monkey, Monkeys, Guns N' Roses have seen thousands flocks to Bellouston Park. Bands often use Scottish dates to cover demand from the northeast of England, meaning people travel to stay in Glasgow. That's not even to mention the number of people from elsewhere in Scotland making a short stay of it. I can't imagine the council would ever look to turn the spotlight on them. Of course not. Uh, but football fans are easy targets, as we've seen with the SNP's hated offensive behaviour at Football Act. Uh, if the SNP leaders at Glasgow City Council are looking for a reason five people were sleeping rough on Tuesday, they should probably look no further than the failures of their party's administration in Edinburgh. 
but it seems football fans remain a convenient scapegoat. They cannot dare blame themselves. They are to blame. Um, the Glasgow Council have had many opportunities to address this problem, but instead they piss money away on one mad cat scheme or another, wasting money left, right and centre. Uh, they're now having to pay hundreds of thousands of pounds out to upgrade their vehicles because of the silly, stupid law they brought in regarding the low emission zone. They based it on age, rather stupidly, rather than emissions. And now hundreds of thousands of pounds. How many people would that have, you know, put out of homelessness? Instead of, you know, another stupid thing. Instead of letting these people stay on the, on the streets, they could have put them up at a fraction of the cost it will cost to upgrade their vehicles. But this is the SNP for you. No foresight, no heart, and always looking to blame others, usually the victims. Anyway, I shall round off and I shall come up. There is something dark, black, dirty, cold, heartless about an SNP supporter, be they politicians or you know the members on the street. There's something missing from their soul. They have no compassion, they have no joy. They are empty, filled with hate. Where there should be compassion, there is merely contempt. And this is, this is easily seen in everything they do. They strive each and every day to make life worse, to make it slightly more miserable, to make people slightly poorer, to drive division, to drive, you know, to drive people mad infuriatingly mad with the awfulness of the very existence of life. They strive for it. It seems to be deliberate in every action they do. Let's make Scotland a failed state. It seems to be the order of the day. Rather than making somewhere nice to live, somewhere successful, somewhere where people can be proud of where they come and look at it with joy, they have to make it a complete desolate, you know, like the aftermath of some nuclear devastation almost, where people miserably shuffle around, heads down, bent shouldered, weak at the knee, pressed upon, the human face imprinted with a boot all the time. That's what they are. They are evil. They can't help it. And then they blame other people for all their failures. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. And for heaven's sake, make sure that you go, you have some compassion and some joy in your life. Don't support the SNP. Bye.